What's up guys, it's Chachi Power here with Collection DX. Today I'm going to do number 96 of the Robot Spirits line. We have here today the Plan 1056 Kodar, which is from Full Metal Panic. What I've enjoyed the most out of that series is these mech suits that um, you know they show throughout the, the show. And of course there's a lot of neat designs, but um, this is actually one of my favorite. So uh, I'm happy to be able to do the review for you guys. If you want to know a little bit more about the series and or the mech, uh, I got a little bit of info on the written review, so make sure you guys check that out too. Um, first, let's put this little guy aside, and we're going to concentrate on the box real quick. Um, it's a regular robot spirits type box. Here you got the name. The back has some pictures and some information. And same kind of plastic tray you always find in robot spirits. Now, let's go back to this guy. As usual, high quality figure. I wouldn't expect anything less from Robot Spirits. I'm going to go over the paint applications. The actual color silver here is very nicely done. Check out the way that that just reflects off the light there. Uh, there's very minimal um, detailed paint apps. Um, very small red dots here in the eyes and a little red sensor right up there. Then you get these little green dots right here. Everything else is just either black or silver. And then of course you have the uh, little ponytail here which is uh, doesn't serve any kind of function. I think it's more uh, to just distract the enemy. Now of course this being from the Robot Spirits line it does have its fair share of articulation. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with the ponytail. Ponytail is actually a separate piece but you can pretty much put it anywhere you need to. Uh, he does have weapon packs that go back here so it's a good thing that this can move to get out of the way for that. Um, next is the head. Very uh, slight movement, uh, pretty limited by this chin guard here and, but you can pass it to the sides here. And Speaking of the chin guard it does have its articulation. Very small but they've actually taken that small piece and given it movement which is excellent. You know, for what it is, it's okay. Then you got um, the shoulders. You got this these sections here that have slight movement. Then you have the actual shoulder. Let's see if you guys can check that out. It's got a back and forth movement there. Then you also have the regular shoulders, and of course, you do have these panels here that are on a a dual ball joint um, piece there, which allows this to move around. The only thing sometimes this does pop off very easily but it just pops back on no big deal then you got your swivel you have your double jointed elbow which really gives it a good range of movement check that out love that excellent um, and it's a rather nice joint just check that out right there and you do have your wrists which are on a ball joint which allow a good amount of movement and there is enough space there for the hand to be able to articulate it a good amount then you have your chest or waist here and you do have this little piece back here that does move away that's on a ball joint so you can you know move it as you need to and it's got a pretty good range there in the waist so check that out then of course you have your hips which are on a ball joint and normally the legs are pushed up this way but in order to give you a wider range of movement you can pull the legs down that way this piece clears you do get a good amount of movement here in the knee now you get this gap here but what you can do is just pull the knee a little bit further and that way you fill up that gap and give yourself a bigger range of movement in the knee there Then you do have your ankle here which does give a pretty good amount of movement there is no toe hinge incorporated or heel and that's about it for articulation now for weapons, he does have this gun here. He has this gun. I'll show them side by side so you can see the differences. They're pretty similar. He's also got this little grenade cylinder here. If you pull on this little tab here, this pops out and it does allow you to take the grenades out. You initially have to put them in, but you get four grenades. Now the neat thing about the whole weapon system is it does come with these little clips that attach to the tops of the guns. 
which allow you to put them on his back here like so you can put both guns here on the back like that or you can have one gun and you can put the grenade canister back here just clip it on like so and aside from that he does have this handy little knife with the little holster there now to use this um, there is this little piece here this little PVC piece which you do have to clip off and I'll warn you guys it's it's really tough to get out uh, I pretty much beat it up with my nails until I finally took an exacto knife popped it out it launched 50 feet into the air and it disappeared for a while um, and then once you put it back on it comes off very easily so it's probably just seized on paint but anyway that's there for the knife the knife will have these two tabs you put that on there and then he's ready for some hand-to-hand -hand combat this figure does not come with straight up fists closed fists they're always slightly open so this is the standard fist holding the knife you'll see that the uh, fingers do wrap around it very nicely gives it a really nice menacing I'm gonna stab you look of course he does come with alternate hands to use a gun you'll see that the hands do wrap around nicely even the trigger finger goes there now if we take a look at the back here you may notice there's no uh, hole for the stand and that's good and bad good because you don't get a hole where the butt is and bad because there's nowhere to put a stand so you would have to use the waist ones fortunately that is not the case with this guy it does come with this little uh, clip here which goes right here and you just shove it right in until it clips it's got a nice satisfying clip there and you're able to use a stand so again another fine release from Bandai for the Robot Spirits line I'd like to thank Angles for sending this over to us for review and make sure you uh, check out the written review for more info on the robot and to see more pictures uh, you know of this guy posed up so, uh, till next time, bye-bye.